Hi guys, let's look at how you can come up with a simple uh, taxi for motorcycle, uh, popularly known as Buddha Buddha Group Management System. Therefore, I will take you through a demonstration on how the system looks like. This system is made, um, it's made using Microsoft Access. So basically, when the system launches, it is a uh, blank, it is empty, there is no data. Therefore, you start by clicking on register members. And for that case, uh, this is Abdi Hassan. He has this Buddha Buddha. This is the bike photo, the motorcycle photo. This is the passport area of the, uh, the member. Therefore, we shall register the member ID, member name, residence, cell phone number we register him after paying 500 dollars then here down here you can register the motorcycle or the taxi details so guys let's record one guy therefore i just go to new transaction there then i just go to uh, a guy here therefore i can register jacob maunda then residence is uh, Mombasa. Then the cell phone of this guy. Uh, zero two. Let's have such a number. Then registered. Uh, the system will automatically assign five hundred since it is fixed price. Then I register the motorcycle number of the guy. Uh, this motorcycle is Tiger Mid uh, in China. Then you can record even more details here. Then I just go and pick the, I pick the photo, that is the passport photo of the guy. Therefore, let's say this is Jacob Maunda. Then I click on OK. Then I take the bike. Therefore, I just double click there. I take the photo of the bike or of the border border. Then I just come and uh, uh, fix it there. So guys, you see, I have captured uh, my guy there. Therefore, you can uh, refresh by pressing a five to make sure that the data is captured in the database. After doing that, you hit on transactions. Then you are taken back to this window. Remember, you can zoom in, you can zoom out using these buttons. So the first thing, you just go to the client area. You will notice that so far I have one, two, three, four. I have four guys registered or captured in my system. Therefore, I just go to Jacob Maunda. Jacob Maunda has been given code number four. And if you go back to this, you see that he has been given a code number four. If I go back, you'll notice that we have Peter, John Peter. He has been given number one. Then there is this guy, Abdi Hassan, who has been given number three. So guys, if I cross this one and go back to this transaction, uh, there are some prices here, payment for, what is this guy paying for? Therefore, we have monthly contributions, we have penalty and miscellaneous. For example, this guy is paying for contributions and then he wants to pay $2,000. Then there is the terror who has served this guy. If, let's say this is Paris. Then also this guy was to pay some penalty of $50 and the transaction has been captured by the same read there. So guys, after doing that one, uh, after doing that, you need to uh, press F5 and then for instance, I want to see uh, registered members. Therefore, I hit on this button. Then I'll be in a position to see I have four guys and their motorcycle registration fee, their cell phone number, residence. Therefore, I can be in a position to see the guys registered by my system. Then, on the other hand, I may wish to see the active receipt after putting the, the dates there. Therefore, I need to uh, 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 put the dates. Therefore, I just go to my guy. My guy is uh, Jacob Maunda. Therefore, I just hit print receipt. There you go, guys. You see that um, so far uh, I have a complete receipt or a statement of Jacob Maunda. So if I need to see the receipt of the next guy, 
I just just hit on previous. Like now we have Abdi Hassan. Therefore, I just hit on receipt. And there we go. Therefore, we shall have code number three, Abdi Hassan. Therefore, guys, uh, remember you can download copies of uh, Microsoft Access systems. I always do on YouTube. You can download them on the website indicated down. Uh, just look below this video. There is a link uh, to take you to the downloads where you can download this for practice purposes. Therefore, I'll just do a demonstration of showing you the backend uh, of this system. Therefore, guys, we go to uh, this part here. Therefore, to come up with this system, you need to have the following tables. Therefore, you will have the Terra. Therefore, if I go to design view, this is the Terra. The Terra is the primary key so that um, you will not have uh, uh, to repeat the Terra name. So if I double click this one, you see now I have fed my Terra names here. And if you add another Terra here, uh, the Terra will appear. Like for example, uh, we can have Abdi Musa added there as a Terra. Therefore, if I cross this one, uh, you will see that one will be added somewhere. So the next table is members table, guys. This is the uh, table members. We have the ID number. You see it was automatically populated. That is auto number. Then we have the member name as the primary key so that no two members will have the same name. Then we have the residence. We have the cell phone. We have the status of registration, whether yes or no. That's why you found a checkbox. Then we had the registration fee here down here. You notice that I have put default value 500 so that wherever we have a new record, 500 will be automatically uh, populated. Then we have the attachment, uh, data type of passport. This is the photo of the guy. And also for the bike photo, we have attachment. That's where we are positioned to capture the the bike as a, an attachment. Then you have the bike details as short text. You can also change that one to long text. There is no big deal on that so that you can be in a position to capture uh, a lot of data. Then the next table, guys, is data entry. Uh, we have data entry. Data entry, uh, data entry has the code as the primary uh, key, which is out number. We have the client. Remember the client you must connect you must connect uh, with the, uh, you must connect it uh, with the other table, with the members table. Therefore, I am getting the member name from members, where member registered equals to yes. Therefore, condition must be yes. If you don't tick, this guy will not appear in the transactions uh, form. Then you have the date and time for date entry. Then on the, other, uh, on the other hand, guys, our last table is uh, data capture. We have the data capture. Uh, we have the data capture table where we have uh, the code serial number. This is a different field uh, that will automatically give one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. That way, then we have the payment for here. I used lookup wizard. Therefore, if you go down here, you notice that uh, we have combo. Uh, checking for monthly contributions, penalty, and miscellaneous. Then also served by, this one is also checking uh, the Terra from a table called Terra. Therefore, this is the connection that it is checking the table Terra from, that is the field called Terra from a table called uh, Terra. So guys, after having shown you that one, you also need to have this query, a very important query. Therefore, this query of ours, uh, this query of ours is getting data from the data entry and uh, data capture. So you can be in a position to see there is this uh, field here, this called here criteria. It is reading code from a, uh, from a data entry form. So you also need to have this query. This one is for the, uh, this is to help you to capture the receipt. Otherwise, receipt will not uh, uh, be populated if that one is not taken care of. Then we have the forms. We have the forms here. Therefore, we have the data entry form. Uh, this is the data entry form, guys. Therefore, we have a form and a sub form. Therefore, we have a form 
Uh, this one is populated from the data entry. This one, the subform, is populated from the data capture. Then we have the members form here. The members form is just directly connected to members. Therefore, this form is directly getting data from the members table. So it is uh, automatic. Then we have uh, the receipt. The receipt is, I just created this one using design view that makes sure that uh, uh, I have my receipt. Therefore, the receipt here is getting data from the query receipt. Uh, that's what should happen. Otherwise, it will not populate data because uh, it is actually using this filter criteria here. It is using this filter criteria. Therefore, if I try to run this one, if I try to run this one, it, it will ask for a parameter. Enter the code. For example, I enter the code number four. You see now it gets four. So it must be filtered using a query. Otherwise, it will not be in a position to uh, give data as intended. And for that case, guys, remember to uh, subscribe. Remember to uh, like my videos. Also share with your friends. And also keep on uh, checking on my website what I have done, uh, uploaded there. Or my downloads are free of charge. Guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next sessions.